Good morning, everyone. So, second full day here in Madrid. It's about 11 a.m. and we are about to go get some brunch because we're hungry. Your coffee is so much cooler than mine. Mine's cool. Yours is like really cool. I ruined it by drinking some of the coffee. Look yummy though. Okay, we've just had our breakfast, coffee, we're feeling good to go. And we're heading to Placio Real de Madrid, which is the Royal Palace of Madrid. And we've got a, um, our tickets for 1pm, and it's about a 15 minute walk. And we're downloading the audio guide app. It's a bit cheaper than paying for an audio guide there. And, and we can share it. And we can share it, <laughs> so it'll be cheaper. There's three euro there, and I was like, maybe it's about $3 Australian, 150 euro or something. This would be Plaza Mayor, Plaza Mayor, um, as well as on the map. Really big plaza, the big statue there of someone. I'm gonna see who this statue is. Yeah, I'm not sure it was. I thought it said Isabel II, but it looks like a dude up there. Got a cool mustache. I'm pretty sure this is the palace. It's lined with statues as we get up to it. Now, I did read that you can't like take photos and film in like 90% of this place so hopefully we can get something if not um, I'm sorry I really wish you could show it but some places are really strict on what you can and can't do but you always buy tickets online huh so we're into the palace now there's a massive line at the front we're worried but it was for people who hadn't bought tickets. Yeah, and the line for people who bought tickets was like one person. Yeah, that's why you always buy your tickets online. Always. It's often cheaper. It's cheaper. And you get to cut a lot of queues. Most of the time. Anyway, we're at the palace. It looks like we can film in the middle of it. Yeah, and in like a big yeah. courtyard. We're in this big old courtyard. It's a massive courtyard. In the middle of the courtyard area. Finally figured out the audio guide. This is the Plaza de la Amaria. And we learnt about um, the palace's construction. It used to be like a Muslim fortress. And then when the Catholics came in and they like defeated them and they decided to build a castle here. So they built this into a castle and then it burnt down. And then in like the 17th century they rebuilt it. And that's about all I remember. Prince Charles III, that one. Okay, so you never get a shot without people in it. But this is like from the main lobby leading up into the, I don't know, the palace. Yeah, carriages that stop there. You've got these cool stairs. It's awesome. Wow, this is impressive. So that these steps were designed to be comfortable entrance because they're so small. And it's true, you really have to step up and I feel like royalty. thing I've ever seen. Oh, I wish I could film in here. <laughs> I'm most exaggerating that bit because I said the last time I can't film. It was actually like, the coolest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, even I like it. I don't like history and stuff. But it's, it's not really so about really history. Cool. It's about the decorations of like oh the throne room yeah. and all the cool things you got to see. And just, you know, it's a real shame we couldn't film it. Pretty cool view of Madrid from here. Didn't realize we're so high up here. Okay. Now we're going to check out the Royal Armory. Here we go through this cool door. Mm -hmm. 
once again another really cool place that we couldn't show you. Sorry, I did warn that we couldn't film in like half the places here. But some of it though, the entrance area was cool at least. And this big courtyard area is pretty cool. What are we doing now? I don't know. Trying to find a shop? Yeah. And then... The market. Yeah, there's a bit of a market around we want to check out. So, we'll see if we can find that. They made it to Mercado de San Miguel. Which is a big old market that we're going to go check out and get some food and whatnot. This place is so busy. Uh, it's so busy in here. It looks so good. We got little croquets, the Madrid stew ones. Mm. Only one euro each. Mm. You good? Mm -hmm. What's in it? No idea. Yeah, I got tacos. Um, enjoy. Stop taking photos of me. It's funny. You're holding your fruit secure. It's like colourful. Yeah, we didn't eat much of the market because it's kind of expensive and busy, but it's cool. And we're here at Paola Number One. It says Paola Number One. It's in the name. So we're so busy taking photos. to actually record it. How is it? Mm. Don't know what a flippy zebra is. I'm trying it. So we are back at the hostel now. And we have our flippy zebra. I'm pretty sure it's just a donut. Covered in something. Ah. It's just a little donut. Maybe flippy means donut. I figured out zebra refers to the milk and white chocolate together. She's special. You didn't realize it as soon as you saw it? No. You just got it. Yeah. At least you got it by yourself. I think that'll end the vlog today though actually. Because I don't think we're doing anything else. We just sort of got him back to our hostel and um probably gonna relax for the night. We have to go to Barcelona tomorrow, so we're gonna be catching a train. Um, hopefully we don't need to pre-book it too far in advance because we haven't booked a ticket. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, that's probably what we're going to be doing tomorrow is just going to Barcelona. So we'll see you guys then. Bye. It's our train going to Barcelona now. One expensive taxi ride later. A really big shower. The most overpriced sushi I've ever seen in my entire life. 450 euro miso soup. Looks like a king size. The streets of Barcelona. You ready for the party? We're staying in the neighborhood called Gracia. Catlan national dish of a Philly cheesesteak because I had to get a beer served in a jar.